Welcome back, dancers. This is Sarah, the accidental artist. I'm a ballet teacher, and I recently closed my blog, and I've decided to put all my former for sale videos up for free on YouTube for your benefit. This is part three of beginning points, so be sure to catch part one and two for your warm up and various other tips. We'll be covering pique passe, échappés, walks on point, berets, and more. So we're getting to move a bit more into the real steps of beginning ballet. Remember, this is not a video to teach you how to dance on point. I assume that you are at least an intermediate point student and have been approved to dance on point by your teacher. I hope this helps you in your continued dance training. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future free videos that I'm posting. Now we're going to demonstrate pique a la second only and it is fairly difficult for beginners so be sure you lift up tall center your weight over the standing leg as you roll down on a straight standing leg plie pique up very very tall on that leg and roll down such a good workout for your standing foot and up and lower Keep that PK light. Remember, you're not hammering the floor with your point shoe. <laughs> and close, come down nicely. Variation and on the PK will PK to a little 45 degree a la second instead of coup de pied. Here we go. And a one, and two, and three, and four. Plie five, six, roll. So it's a little bit more difficult rolling down with the leg extended. Plie and PK roll. And a one, and two, up. Plie and pique a la second and a one and two and three four dégagé and up just a small 45 degree dégagé a la second and close to point and we do toe toe release to plie and toe toe big plie and again toe toe retire devant Ferme, come down and uh, up, 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 down, two, three, up, up, and down, two, three, up, up, retire, and close fifth. All right, for beginners, we go. Su, su, pick up one, two, three, four, and back, two, three, four, and one. Two and one, two, pick five and six and seven and eight, beret one, two, three, four, and switch six, seven, eight, plie, two, excuse me, and three, four, and coupe five, six, and up, 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 beret like a little roar, tiny, tiny rumble, and a repeat, and pick two. Three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Pick up, and two, and up, and up, and up, and up. Beret in place, and out to the dégagé. And last time, up, and two, and three, and crossed. And notice how she crosses very nicely each time. We don't want to ever have an open fifth. And up, 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 and smooth. Two, three, lots of through the knees, the whole leg on a beret, and release. Going on to échappés in second, four times, and then I'll demonstrate the double échappé with my dancer. I think of échappés as drawing two tendus simultaneously. You push out from your center, equidistant all the time. That's part of the challenge, and really strong into those feet, putting putting energy into those toes so you're absolutely stable in your ankles. You always have a really beautiful roll and down. And on to a little more advanced step, we're going to roll down in a step called Pique Ballonet. And uh, roll down on one foot and, and watch the way she rolls through that midfoot, those intrinsic muscles, that's the key. Four Pique Ballonets, beret forward. And then she's going to lift her front leg and passe close back. Roll. Yeah, so as you roll, you want to feel a nice lift up the front of the hips. Two, three, 
for beret. So I was a little early and beret, beret, beret. Retire, passe, close back. Right leg you're drawing, Tony, front and two and three and four and five and six, et bono. Down, échappé, pose, échappé, pose, échappé, plié, and second, and close. So three times, and fold in, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I really feel like this really has to go with the back leg as well. Yeah. Six, seven, eight, échappé en face. Yes, and to the fourth. Five, six, we do it on one. Fourth. Fourth facing new direction. Two and three. Four. And from the plie, we shoot to second and finish. Third. Our two footed releves, échappés in fourth. And we have en face, place, and three, four. So we want the toes right in front of each other and a palm on turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a second. And a second. Fourth, and a two, and keep those feet cross, six, and out, and a out. Equidistant, tongue do front and back, and six, échappé, pose. Tongue do soutenu, soutenu means to sustain. I call it to draw together. I know some ballet teachers do as well. And we're gonna start with tendu side, into a tendu fondu, and up, and down, and up, and down. And two, plie. Might have to adjust a little bit there. And uh, one, and pull. And yes, thighs. We see the two heels on the bone. And up. And we're going to step and turn sideways, demonstrating that you tendu soutenu turn. Just halfway, the hand moves forward of you, and you open arm and leg. And up. And turn, two, three, and again, and up, and feet, detourne. There's a slight unweighting if you look really carefully about that point, and we come and we snug that back together. And we're going to do parallel walking in point shoes. So we can feel that the point shoe becomes an extension of your leg and your foot and the point shoe are one. It's a really good thing to practice. You must always keep your feet very straight, very pointed and your knees very straight. And just parallel. And we'll turn it into marches in parallel. She's got her hands on her waist to just sense where her hips and her core are. Core very engaged so we don't fall back. And we'll turn around and repeat. And come down to first. Next we'll do dégagés walking forward. So this is a little bit back to the transfer of weight we did at the bar. Kind of press your hands into your waist. And uh, one, two, three, four. Keeping the gaze nice and out into the horizon. And uh, finish. You can repeat a lot of the things at the bar in center, like releves in first and a chape. Perhaps some pique when you get a little stronger, etc. That when you're pointing, see you're on the side of your big toe. Now, when I go to point, I can do this to shape it, but I'm not, I shouldn't put much weight on that. I should just shape it. But if I wanted to go to attitude, I'd still keep it here. I would not go to that. That's 
that's not bad. That's actually straight up in the fourth that we're in that position. So as I go back, I just go here. I don't feel a lot of it. I don't really like that for a stretch. It's, it's more like the shape. So to the back, I would just shape it and I turn it off. So it's okay for that. But I'm not going to put a lot of So yeah, if you see people on point and they're going like this yeah. or something, mm, that's really bad. Come on, they're just posing. Or else they're damaging themselves because they're dancing like that. They won't be dancing very long. Yeah. <coughs> so let's see. Okay, let's see. 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 Let's see.